So I've just been down to St George Landscapes to do pick up some plumbing for an aquarium that I'm setting up. Now the first thing about setting up a, the plumbing for an aquarium is that I'm not a fan of weirs. Um, any internal plumbing I think looks so terrible. There are times when you have to use them when you've got to put the aquarium flush against a wall, but if you do have the privilege of hanging something out the back of the aquarium, then I'd much rather use this. So this is basically just a strainer, then that's um, the fitting, the Hanson fitting, then over here you've got a couple of o-rings and you've got the um, the back thread so in this case um, I've got a 65 mil hole in the aquarium which is at the very top on the back so the water's going to flow down through there and go down off towards the filtration then the next thing I'm going to do is cut this about here so cut it between the thread just so there's enough thread to thread that on um, when you do these threads um, make sure that you use plumber's tape and you want to um, put plumber's tape around, reverse to what um, the thread is. Then once you've plumber's taped that and stuck it on, and you've cut that off enough just to give enough thread for this, then that's going down. Um, in this case, I I've put a real big hole in the tank because if this tank becomes a saltwater tank, I want to be able to have heaps of flow. But for now it's just a cichlid tank, so I don't need so much flow, so I'm actually going to reduce the um, the pipe instead of using the real big pipe, which is, it's very easy to change plumbing later, it's very hard to change the hole. So then, so we've got the whole water coming down, then I've just reduced it down using a fitting here, and then this goes down into 40 mil, and 40 mil pipe is very easy to work with. So that's going to hug this, the back of the tank, because I've cut that. And that's just going to, um, I'm going to use PVC glue, so it's best to use a little bit of primer, and you put a bit of primer in the in there, and a bit of primer around the edge of your PVC pipe, then you use a really generous amount of PVC glue, the green PVC glue, you paint it in there, and you paint it around in here, then you get your fitting and push it in and turn it until it sits in nice and tight and snug and hold it for a few seconds, and then you've done it. So that's going to be plumber's tape. That's going to be um, um, PVC glue, and then I'm going to. That's going to go from the. If you imagine that's the aquarium, the water's going to come out of the top of the aquarium. It's going to go out the back. It's going to go down here. Then I'm going to need a um, elbow. So I'm going to have an elbow, which is going to then feed the water back underneath the aquarium. I'm going to angle that that elbow according to where the sump's going to be positioned, and then I'm going to glue this one on here and you never glue this last one that just sits in and in this case I've actually reduced it down again to 20 mil so I've got a bit of 20 mil pipe here as well just to restrict the flow further because restricting the flow at the bottom actually seems to make the whole thing not so noisy now if it is actually noisy sometimes it's sucking air in so if that ever happens what I'll do is drill a hole in the top here and then I'll push a airline fitting in and connect an airline with a non-return valve on the back and then that just lets some air suck in under pressure and reduces the sucking sound so by sometimes you set these up and they're not noisy at all and sometimes you set them up and they are a little bit noisy so if they are a little bit noisy um, there are some tricks that you can play around with to re reduce the noise one is reducing the um, the bottom so um, it holds more water in the line which seems to make it wider and the other one is by drilling a hole in the top so they're all things you can play with now I've also got some um, so that's 15 mil is it? Let me see, I can't, no. that's 20 mil actually that's 25 mil and that's 40 mil and then what I've actually got here to return the water back into the aquarium again what I'm just going to do is use this this pipe here and then I'm just going to um, cut a piece and I never glue this last piece because that, that basically